For the last three years, I have been teaching Adobe Rush to my middle school classrooms, and now I would love to teach Adobe Rush to you. It is a simple, easy to use program that is a great place to start when you begin to edit video. So come along and let's use a little Adobe Rush and learn how to edit. Boom. Using Adobe Rush is really very simple. Let's go ahead and get started. We've opened up Adobe Rush. First thing you wanna do is click on Create New Project. From here, you wanna go and add in some clips. You'll notice right away that I'm gonna add in some clips of the dry ice. So much fun to do the dry ice. You always want to put the clips in the order that you want them in the timeline. It is one of the joys of Adobe Rush. So you'll see right away that we've put the clips one, two, three, and four in that order. When you've got your clips in the correct order, go ahead and click Create. With your project started, the very first thing you want to do is highlight a clip. When you highlight a clip, you'll notice that over down here on the left-hand side that the scissors icon highlights. Very simple, the scissors allows you to cut a clip. If you click it, you've now put your clip into two slices. With your clip highlighted, this is the duplicate clip followed by the trash clip. And then next to that, we have the expand audio clip. I always recommend that you expand your audio. This way, when you go to edit, it's a lot easier. Underneath the expand audio clip, you will see the control tracks clip. Open this up as well. In Adobe Premiere Rush, they give you four tracks of video and four tracks of audio. With your clip highlighted, if you right click, you can then see the same things. You can separate your audio if you need to, expand it, which is what we learned how to do, duplicate it, which creates a Cogsack copy, and delete. What's great about this is it gives you now two ways to do those same functions. How do you edit a clip? It's really very simple. You take the blue playhead, you drag it to the beginning of the clip. In this case, I use my audio waveforms to say here's where I drop the dry ice. And then notice the cursor. We're gonna zoom in here. You can take the cursor until it changes into a handlebar, left click, and then you drag it to the start of your clip. You can also do the same thing on the end. You can take the blue playhead, drag it all the way to where you want the clip to end make the cursor change into the handlebars, left click, and then drag it to the end. You can also click in the middle of it and drag and place the clip anywhere you want in your timeline and all the other clips kind of juggle around and go in the same order. Next, we wanna bring our attention to the zoom bar that is located at the very bottom of the screen. You go to the bottom of the screen and you cursor over the bar at the bottom, it expands. I always recommend to go and uh, highlight the circle on the right, and if you drag it to the left, you will be able to zoom into the clip that you've highlighted. Clearly, if you do it the other way and you drag it to the right, you can zoom out. This is very important when you are zooming in and out of clips and you wanna see more detail on the clip. Next, let's drag our attention to the upper right-hand corner where we have the title icon. If you click on the title icon, it'll open up the drawer. From the drawer, it'll ask you to add a graphic. Notice what happens next. Then on the left-hand side, it opens up a drawer where you see your three kinds of graphics. The three kinds of graphics that you can put into a project are titles, transition graphics, and overlays. This is really helpful. For the basics today, we just want to add a title. How do you do that? Highlight a title, place the playhead at where you would like the title to go, and then click Add. Notice that your title is placed above the video clip. If you go over to the right, you can now change all the variables. We simply just want to change our title here. So instead of title, we will just call this Dry Ice. If you want the title to go in front of your video clip, then you highlight it, right? And then you click and you drag it down. And so now the title will go in front of the video. Next, let's go to the effects button in the upper right hand corner. When you click on the effects button, it's gonna bring up 15 different transitions. To apply transition is really very basic. You select the transition that you would like, go for the duration, do you want it to go as short as 0.2 seconds or as long as three seconds? Then if you double click, you'll notice that it applies the transition at the beginning and the end of the clip. With the clip highlighted, you can also make the transition longer and it'll make it longer in the timeline. 
If you click on another clip, you can do the same thing, add a transition, and it'll add that transition. This way, when you wanna go from one clip to the other, you've got a smooth transition. Let's draw our attention to the button underneath effects, which is the color button. When we select on the color button, you're gonna get a whole bunch of built-in presets. These are basically filters that you can put over your clips. To apply a preset to your clip, you would highlight the clip and then select the preset. They have a lot of presets for you. If you wanna create your own preset, it's very simple. You go and you click on edit. And then from edit, you can go and change all the variables. Let's crank up the vibrance and the saturation. And then once you've changed the variables to your liking, click on the three action buttons right up there and hit create preset. We are going to call this one dry ice red, dry ice red. When you hit the save button, it's going to save it at the very bottom of your presets. Now I go and I click on presets and when I scroll down to the very bottom, you will notice there is my dry ice red. This is a really nice way to create individualized and personalized presets. Well, let's go ahead and click underneath the, the effects button, which is the speed button. The speed button allows you to speed up or slow down any clip. You can do this by dragging the range and notice my three second clip, if I make it now, is now, if it goes faster, a minute 28. If I go to the left and I slow it down, it is 10 seconds. If we go and we put the playhead at the very beginning, you'll see now I've got a nice slow motion clip of the dry ice and water. Underneath the speed clip, let's click on that icon. It's the audio clip. Adobe Premiere Rush has three types of audio that it recognizes. Those types of audio are voice, music, and other. And they're all located by icons on that type of audio. If we look down here, we can see right away that this is just other audio because it's the audio from the dry ice clip. If we click on browse, it opens up the drawer on the left-hand side. And over here, we have three kinds of audio that we can add to our projects. Those are, we can add soundtracks, sound effects, and loops. Let's click on soundtrack. Adobe Premiere Rush offers some awesome royalty-free clips that you can put into your projects. This way, when you post them on YouTube or TikTok or Instagram, you can use the music and it's not copyrighted. This is one of the best features of Adobe Rush. How do you add the music? Once again, always start by placing the playhead at where you want the music to go. Pick a song that you like, any song will do, and then you click add. Notice when I add the song that the icon next to it is a music note because it recognizes this as music. Now let's go and click on the last icon, which is the crop and rotate icon. With a clip highlighted, this basically allows you to you can change the horizontal position, you can change the vertical position, you can even rotate your clip if you choose. If you don't like any of the changes or things that you've applied, you can go up, find the reverse arrow, and click on it, and everything gets reset back to normal. Underneath this, you have maintain properties. Now, I always thought they should just call this zoom in and out, but they don't. So if you want to zoom in and out and keep everything together, you can drag the slider to the right and it will zoom in. If you drag to the left, of course you can zoom out. The very last button we wanna show you is located all the way over on the left-hand side of the screen. If we go to underneath the blue button, see everything in your project. If you open up the project assets, there we have all of the clips that we've put in and the music. This way, if we should delete anything in our project, it's very easy to go ahead and find it by clicking on project assets and there it is. So there you have all of the simple basic buttons and how to edit your very first project and this should get you started. Remember to like, comment, subscribe in the description below. Ring that bell for notifications because we here at WIA Studios, we love teaching the joy of editing and filmmaking. My name is Oliver Wea and welcome to my channel where the wood paneling is 100% awesome.